Yeah, hello. I'm Tobias uh, from the clients team. Um, I'm the team lead by, uh, of Nextcloud, uh, of the clients team lead. And yeah, I want to present you the Android Open ecosystem and more specifically how to integrate your app into our Files app or also the other way around. How our Files app can open your app to uh, yeah, support specific use cases. And I want to start with a single sign-on system, which makes developer life very easy for you. So your app can use the entire network stack from the files app so you don't need to have uh, to handle the authentication or authoriz authorization this is entirely handled by the files app this is a small library that you can just include and then uh, i will show you later two different ways how you can actually um, work with it on the right side so you see a short uh, diagram so in this case the next on use app is sending a request to the files app. The files app is then handling the entire um, HTTPS and authorization stuff, sending it to the server and re returning the response back to the news app. And the news app does not need to know anything about the server. So how does this look like? Um, this is the way how it looks on the UI side. So you're opening up the Nextcloud new uh, notes app in this case. You are presented by the existing accounts of the Nextcloud files app, in this case one account, but you can add another account if you want. Then you choose one account and you need to pr um, authorize that you want uh, to allow the Nextcloud notes app to access this specific account on the server. And that's everything you need to do on the um, yeah, UI side or also on the developer side. As we are on the um, community uh, and developer conference, I also brought some code with you with me. And here you can see the first highlighted part is how to uh, access a specific account. The single account helper is provided by the library and you get the current account, which you then use and pass to create uh, a new API. And with this API, you can later um, build and create the request, which I show you here. So the request, and that's what you need to only understand for, as a developer from an Android perspective. You're creating the requests and saying you have a method like get or put, setting the URL, which is only the part of the, on the server side, so you don't even care which uh, server you have. Then you maybe add some parameters that are specific to this URL, and then you are passing this via the API directly to the server, which is then handled by the files app. And in response, you receive an input stream, which you can then maybe read, uh, pass, or just only download and uh, store it somewhere. So that's the, the, the kind of um, straightforward um, Java plain way. Uh, and here is how it's on Retrofit. On Retrofit, you have usually an API, um, which is then passed to the Retrofit uh, class. What we now need to change is we just need, again, the single sign-on account, and then our library is providing the Retrofit API directly to your usage. So you can just, as, as ever, as drop in replacement, um, transition from the old Retrofit system to the new one, because you have the, always the same M API uh, in the end. So yeah, that was uh, how you as a developer can make your life easier. And now, um, how you want to maybe use our app uh, to open files or to do stuff with it. And first would be to how to open a file. We are inside the Android ecosystem, so you can simply set an intent with the uh, parameters and the intent type action view. As parameter, you need to have the account, which is then the username and the server address, and either the file ID or the file path. Both is accepted by the Nextcloud Files app, and then it, the file is highlighted, and you can sh uh, the user can interact with this one. Um, maybe you have a server-side app, or maybe you have another convenient way to how to um, uh, authorize your user, and you want to directly open this uh, account inside the Nextcloud Files app, then you can just simply pass this specific user uh, or URL to the Nextcloud Files app, and then you are automatically logged in. Or, as I said, if you have a browser app or another app, then you can just use the same syntax with a slash F to directly open the file inside the Nextcloud Files app. Yeah, and maybe you have other ideas. Um, how to integrate uh, and how to open our files app. And now the other way around, how or what can we provide you as the Nextcloud files app to uh, your app? First is Unified Search. There you have a server side um, search provider and the client is displaying the search result and if your app ins is installed, it's directly passing the uh, search result to your app once the user have clicked on it or if it's not installed, it will fall back to the web. 
We have also deep links. In, in this case, I want to show it with uh, DAVX5. So when you click on Sync Calendar and Contacts, it will open the uh, installation of the DAVX5, passing the user and the uh, server address so that the user only needs to enter their password. And last as an example, what we have integrated is uh, the Nextcloud DAC app, where the push notification, for example, is handed out by the server to the Nextcloud Files app. And we know that it's targeting the Nextcloud DAC app. And therefore, this um, information of the, uh, the push notification is sent as a pending intent directly to the Nextcloud DAC app. 